am Dr. Tabitha, the gutsy gynecologist. I'm a triple board certified OBGYN and functional medicine physician. I've embraced the world of functional medicine and wellness through my own personal health journey, and I'm super excited to share my wisdom and unique perspective as it pertains to women's health. After caring for thousands of women, I've come to realize that your gut health determines your gyne health and your overall health. And it's a super gutsy thing for me to go against conventional gynecology practice to bring you the truth. No more Band-Aid medicine, ladies. We're talking root cause resolution on this show. So if you're struggling with hormone imbalance, weight gain, period issues, anxiety, insomnia, you name it, then you've come to the right place. And I want to be your gutsy gynecologist. So welcome. Do you not know your bodies are the temples of the Holy Spirit? You are not your own. You were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. That's 1 Corinthians 6, verse 19 and 20. When I read that the first time a year and a half ago, I was taken aback because I never thought of my body as a temple. I abused my body. I honestly treated my body like a garbage can. I would put anything in it and stuff that did not belong in there, like Mountain Dew and donuts and Pop-Tarts and movie popcorn, just so much garbage. Those are really Franken foods. They're not actual foods that God gave us or that have come from the earth. Like we've created them in the laboratory, in the factory. They're not real. They're not, there's no nourishment to them. Okay. And I want you to really understand the difference between these Franken foods and what I call faith foods. Faith foods are what God gave us. They either grew out of the ground or they had a mama, you know, animals, vegetables, fruits, things like that. So I am on a mission to teach women how to treat their bodies as a temple the way God intended. God gave you this body for this short earthly time period. I just don't believe this is the end all be all. This is a short snippet of time where we're going to learn some major lessons and we're going to go on to the next version of our energetic being of our souls. Our souls will continue on without our physical body. But Part of growing and being a better person is to take ownership of the body God gave us and to nourish it and honor it and show him like how much we appreciate it. And when you do that, this is what I've learned the hard way. When you do that, life is better in general because you're not in pain. You're not struggling to function and do things You're not embarrassed of your body. Okay, I get it. As women, this truly impacts all aspects of our life. If we don't feel comfortable with our physical bodies, we're going to struggle to be intimate with our partners. We are not going to want to get dressed up and go out and enjoy hanging out with our friends and doing fun things. We're not going to want to get into a bathing suit and go to the beach with our kids. We're going to make choices that we regret because we're ashamed of our bodies. I did it for too long. I didn't wear a bathing suit from the age of 20 to 28. Almost a decade, I didn't wear a bikini because I was ashamed of my body. I was ashamed of my stretch marks, my stretched out tummy, and comments made by my first husband about my cellulite made me too ashamed. And that prevented me from taking my kid to the beach and doing a lot of things I should have been doing as a young mom. And I had huge regret for that. So once your eyes are open and you understand that, you can't go back. You have to do better. And once I started to understand all of this, 
I had to do better. So I put the bathing suit on and took the newer babies and kids to the beach and got over my shame and embarrassment of my body because it doesn't matter. And God actually gave us each individual bodies depending on what he wants us to do with our lives. So some of us are strong and stocky because we need to be. God's got us doing some really hard stuff. Some of us are like delicate and beautiful and look like porcelain dolls. And that is what you're supposed to look like. And you're supposed to be using for your life. Some are just sleek and graceful and we get to go watch them dance in the ballet. Like I am now at a point where I can appreciate another human being's body and its function and not feel jealous and not say, why is, why can't I have that body? Why do, why don't I get to look like that? And I've learned to just say, I appreciate what I look like and how I function, what I do. And that has transformed every aspect of my life. It has made life so much more joy filled. And I want that for you. I want that for you. You are not going to get that from some strict program where you are depriving yourself and feeling frustrated and beating yourself up and never feeling any love toward yourself. So I really want you to understand that this book that just came out, Fast to Faith, is for you. God told me to write this book for you. He wants you to understand how to love and nourish your body into health and vitality. So if you were with me on one of my group Zoom calls a couple months ago, I did um, an activity called Future Gazing with God. I teach you how to see yourself through God's eyes and to shift everything that you're really not liking about yourself or you're really struggling with and how to flip that on its head, turn it into a completely different future. And so we're going to, I'm going to teach you how to create a future you that you are absolutely in love with. What is the dream version of you that you want to be? So if you haven't gotten the book yet, get the book, go straight to chapter eight, Future Gazing with God. If you've already got the book, I'm so excited because you got the bonuses. You're going to do the live Zoom call with me that you get if you get it. But chapter eight, we're going to teach you how to future gaze with God. And you are going to create a new version of yourself. And then we're going to live into that over this next year, because 2025 is going to happen. So do you want to be the same, be stuck in this rut or worse? Do you want to be another 10 pounds heavier and feel even worse and struggle more by the time you get into 2025? Or do you want to look back and go, oh my gosh, I've come so far. I love my body. This is incredible. I'm so proud of myself. I can't even believe I used to feel like that or look like that. Like if you're ready to do that, get fast to faith. Please just check it out. Consider it. Obviously have a discussion with God. See what he wants you to do. But I feel like if you've been drawn to me, it's for a reason because I wrote this book for you. So check it out. I'm also going to teach you how to faith it. Faith it till you make it. Don't fake it till you make it because that doesn't work. But if you faith it till you make it, then you can actually make progress. And progress and consistency create change. So I'm really excited. Thank you so much for your time and your attention and even considering taking this on for yourself. I know that it's going to be incredible and transformative for you, but you have to believe it. You have to be ready. So are you going to faith it? Okay, I'll see you soon.